Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and one of the questions I've been asked lately by people uh, regarding me doing all these standing presses, they will generally ask the question, uh, why do you do them standing? Does a seated versus a standing shoulder press uh, recruit more deltoids? Because a lot of people, conventional wisdom among a lot of bodybuilders is because you're seated, you can focus more on your shoulders because less core, less stabilizers are involved. Uh, so therefore, you must be involving more shoulder. Now, obviously, I tend to agree with Jeff Cavalier over at Athlete Next that in general, doing your shoulder presses, they should be done standing versus seated. It's way more athletic. It carries over better into every sport. And it carries better over into just overall strength and being more athletic, stronger, everything else. You should be doing them standing. I'm not a fan of seated shoulder work. Now, what's interesting, that is not the only actual point. Uh, there have been studies looking at this, actually breaking this down, and I'm gonna link below a write-up for you guys. And one of the things that you're gonna notice, they compared multiple muscles, all three heads of the delt, they compared the biceps and the triceps. They even threw biceps and they did studies of looking at dumbbells and barbells seated versus standing on the press and they came up with some interesting things now uh, overall what's the take home from this standing is way better even with lighter weight meaning you can't lift as much weight and people need to remember that some guys would be like oh man so and so does x amount of weight standing i do more seated uh yeah you should be able to do more seated than you can standing but when they test even your five rep max because again, you probably need at least five reps to, to generate significant hypertrophy unless you're doing a lot of volume. If you're doing seven or more sets, okay, fine. Uh, but people are usually, when they're trying to really recruit muscle fibers, you're gonna do at least five reps. So when they test people's five rep max, what they, they find is across the board, standing works every single muscle more than seated. The interior delt, the medial delt, the posterior delt, all three heads, the triceps, massively more so. Uh, standing work works your triceps tremendously more, tremendously more. It only works uh, the, the side and the front delt a little bit more. We're talking in the range of anywhere from 7 to 11%. And again, EMGs aren't the be-all, end-all, but it's been pretty consistent. When this is looked at with EMG, it's very, very consistent, which would imply, okay, there's probably something to this because you don't ever take a single EMG study, but a few have been done. And across the board, seated work usually works the side heads of the delts a little more, the side and the front, the medial and the interior, right? Well, standing works the posterior head and the triceps tremendously more, in anywhere in the range of 20 to 40% more, even with a slightly lighter weight. So a lot of this comes down to what is it you're trying to do. Uh, if you're trying to build those, then it makes more sense. Now, the, the other thing is that the standing barbell actually works the triceps the most, uh, and it works the rear delts the most also. If your goal was purely, purely to train the side and front delt, dumbbells actually seem to be slightly superior when we look at this data out there. They seem to be slightly superior and they seem to be better standing. But if you're trying to train multiple other muscles, let's say you are trying to improve your bench press more. Uh, in the case of me, I'm doing standing presses as a bench press accessory and an overall strength accessory. Because it works the rear delt a lot more, and it works the triceps a lot more, that's something that's gonna give me better stability on my bench press, and I want the extra tricep involvement. Triceps are a weak link for me, so I choose to do the standing barbell. I feel like it's gonna give me better overall carry over to my barbell bench press. Uh, so that's why I do it personally as far as a barbell instead of dumbbells. But if, if you're really going to look at it, and you're really going to break it down, that is what the data does tend to show, uh, that for the front and side delt, dumbbells are slightly better, rear delt triceps, barbell is better uh, by a significant amount, and standing is better all the way across the board. And that's kind of one of the interesting points you have to note, because you will see bodybuilders who get this mindset, this mindset that you know the seated must be better because again less stabilizers i can concentrate on the muscles i want to build my shoulders uh, i can concentrate on that and and i can lift a little more weight so therefore it must be better and then people will see all these pro bodybuilders doing it these other bodybuilders recommending that and they'll follow suit and then here's the question i would ask you 
has this bodybuilder mindset of training in that way ever worked? And what I mean is, how many of these bodybuilders who train in that mindset of, man, I want to try to remove my, bu- my biceps from my back work. I want to try to take my triceps and core out of my uh, shoulder presses. These are the same guys who have to come in and do 15 sets in a workout for a body part. These are the guys who come in and they have to have 15 or 16 sets to get it done, right? Uh, That should tell you right now there's a problem. Furthermore, not just that, they have to do all these tons of sets and exercises to work everything. All of them keep having to up their dose. What is it you always hear bodybuilders talk about? When they really talk about what they do, uh, what does it always come down to? Whenever they stall, they just up the dose. They keep adding more drugs to the mix. Does anyone consider that maybe the reason they have to continually do that is because their training ideologies are completely flawed? I mean, in theory, if you can continue to grow natural, it just slows over the years. You can continue to grow natural with no drugs, right? If you follow proven training protocols. So shouldn't proven effective training protocols work on any given amount of drugs? Meaning a guy uses X amount, uh, X amount of whatever. He shouldn't need to keep increasing that to keep growing. He just needs to improve his training, increase his uh, progressive overload, his workload. But they don't seem to be able to do that, do they? They have to keep upping the amount of stuff they use. And it's largely because the whole concept behind a lot of bodybuilding ideas aren't really grounded in reality. They're not grounded in physiology. They're not grounded in exercise science. That very sort of concept, man, I'm going to do seated shoulder presses because it will work my shoulders harder and I'll use less muscles. And the reality that doesn't work because not only does it not work the shoulders harder, it does work other muscles less hard. You get less tricep involvement, you get less core involvement, you get less rear delt involvement. So then these same guys are having to do all these other exercises because They are trying to select exercises that use the least muscles and take the most of the muscles out so they can focus on just one instead of saying, hey, how about I pick exercises that really fully develop and really hammer a large majority of muscles that stimulate and recruit a large number of muscles in my body so that I have to do less work focusing on smaller ones. They don't get that mentality and the end result is some of these guys end up having five day splits where they're doing four or five different exercises for each muscle group. All right, that's absurdity. That's absurdity. That is absolutely inefficient. But that's the sort of mindset that people come up with uh, when they get into this whole ideology, this idea of trying to only work a specific muscle. And the reality is it doesn't even always do that. It doesn't always do that because in the case of the shoulder presses, this is a perfect example. Doing it seated greatly reduces the amount of tricep stimulation you get, but it also even slightly reduces the stimulation in the muscles you're trying to focus on. You have to use a slightly heavier weight and you end up with a little bit less stimulation even in the front and side delts, which is the reason you're probably doing those seated presses to begin with. That's probably the reason they're doing it. It works a little less of those. And then other really critical muscles like the triceps get a lot less. The rear delts get a lot less. Uh, And you think about it, the overhead press is one of the few presses that allows you to work the long head of the tricep also in any uh, reasonably effective manner. You're taking out one of your most important tricep exercises. You would be reducing its effectiveness on the triceps. Rear delts, how much is rear delt work have to be done all the time? Power lifters and bodybuilders alike are always having to do more rear delts because they're always lagging. Seated shoulder presses work the rear delts less. They work the rear delts less. Uh, This entire mindset of what people are trying to throw in is working the opposite of what they want. And it turns out that the exercise like a standing barbell press actually works all those target muscles just as effectively. Maybe not quite as effectively as the standing dumbbell press, but the standing barbell press still beats the seated dumbbell press, doesn't it, when you look at a lot of that data. And then we go over to stuff like all these other muscles, rear delts, upper chest, triceps, abs. The standing barbell ends up being tremendously superior. 
So again, people will ask these questions like, well, should I be doing seated or standing presses for my shoulders? Do standing presses, absolutely. Not only is it probably better for your shoulders, it's better for multiple other really, really important muscles. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.